going on, y'all? It's the Kid Bobby Earth, host of the Hip Hop Shop. The only TV show will be expressed to be fresh. I'm here with Diggy Simmons, Young, Fresh, Fly, Flashy, Dope, all of that, y'all. What's going on, man? How you doing, brother? Just got to the H Town, you know, just chilling there, ready for the night, closer to my dreams tour. That's where we at tonight. Yeah. So this your first time in Houston? First time in the H. That's what's up. How you like it so far? It's hot, man. When it's I hot. first got here, it was raining, so I put on a sweater and um. It was hot, so what were you expecting, like, you know, before you got off the plane, like, as far as you see? Uh, well, we've been, like, busting everywhere, you know, like, right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, like, all around the country and stuff, you know, we've only done, like, five dates so far, so we just got into the tour, but, um, yeah. man, I mean, just, like, hospitality, because I know that's what it's like down here, and, you know, everything's gonna be hot and cute, yeah. so, it's hot. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely what I was expecting. Who are some of your favorite artists from Houston? Houston, man, um, shoot, you know, Mike Jones, Mike Jones, Slim Thug, um, Paul Walsh from here, right? Yeah, Paul Walsh. Uh, yeah, Paul Walsh. Uh, Bun B, of course. Of course. You know, of course, UGK for life. So, I don't know what That's cool, that's cool. So, you're 16 right now, right? Yes, sir. I feel to be 16 and on the road so much, you know, just traveling around everywhere, you know, getting to do a big. Yeah, it's incredible, man. Just the way that um, my fans just have embraced me, you know, from the first flight, which I did in 09, all the way till now, just building that fan base, you know, more and more people just really, you know, not caring about just my image and, and what I am for that, but like the music and really caring about where I'm gonna take it. So, um, yeah, man, it feels incredible because, you know, just going into every show right. every night, exactly. seeing their reactions and everything, you yeah. know, and knowing that they know all the songs is crazy. It's love for the fans, overall vibes yeah. and everything. It must yeah. feel dope, man. It is. So, you recently did the track uh, Mrs. Right with uh, Miles mm -hmm. Behavior. I understand you're performing with them tonight at the House of Blues. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, um, I do my set and then I come up with them on their set as well. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, we're like it. So how was it like working with Miley's behavior? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're so cool little dudes, man. Like, they're yeah. just like my little bros. And um, basically with that, I already heard the track before I even did it. And when they told me to do it, I was all in. So mm -hmm. I um, I did the track literally like two days after they asked me. And then they're like, we want to shoot the video because we're trying to put this out soon. So I flew to LA like the week after I did it. And um, yeah, we here now, man. I love that song. That song is like, it's a dope song. So I know recently you did a track with uh, DJ Premier, a whole mixtape with Premier, actually. Yeah. It's at uh, Past, Present, Future. Mm -hmm. What's it like working with DJ Premier, one of the hip hop producer legends yeah. in the game? Yeah. What's that's, it like? That's an honor for me, man. I mean, even before he even put the drops on it and you know, all yeah, the scratching yeah. and everything, um, he came, the first time he came and listened was to the shook ones that I did. He was, ones, okay. Yeah, okay. He, was, he was in the video for that. He came to the studio. He was just like behind the boards while you know I didn't see him okay. and um, it was just an honor, man, just to talk to him on the phone and you know us collaborate on ideas and the way we wanted to take to be signing. So, um, so right. like a mixing ambassador and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, um, speaking of producers, who are some of your favorite hip hop producers in the game right now? And um, shit, I mean, no ID. No ID. He's, he's, he's been it. killing it, you know. Yeah, he's been so uh, definitely like, popping up. They produced copy paste for me. And they okay. also did an unusual for Trey Songz. They did that Marvin Gaye Those dudes are definitely yeah, underrated yeah. and you know, on the come up for sure. Um, my producer, Black the Beast, is incredible. Um, I just told Twitter that I have D-Mile on my album. Um, he's incredible. He's crazy. Like, he's done a lot of stuff, but um, I'm, about to, I'm about to really show everybody like, a whole lot of this stuff because he has a lot of joints on my album. Um, so yeah, I'm a fan of a lot of that. As far as the fashion line, space age or space, you know, whatever happened to that? Oh man, that, that was just something that never came up. That was an idea that I had um, during Red Sox days. Yeah, it never yeah. came up, but I have Ship Culture now. That's my sneaker line. And that's okay. on uh, shipculture.com. And that's going to be in store soon in like new colorways. Because right now, we have like four colorways. Okay. And um, yeah, you can get that on Ship Culture. I definitely will check that out. I see you keep up with the fashion game very well. Thank you. Rocking a Tissa, you know, BBC and ice cream and all that. Why do you love fashion? I mean, as far as that streetwear stuff, man, I mean, that's just, just the culture of it all. You know, it's just something like a vibe that just makes me feel good. You know, just right. going to Soho, you know, going to those different boutiques, you know, in those different places, all the way down to, you know, like the high end stuff, you know, the Gavenchis and the Balmains and P.A. Yeah. Hardys and stuff like that. You know, just mixing those elements of streetwear. I mean, you know, high-end, upscale fashion together because, you know, just the type of stuff that I, I enjoy. Do you like Krishan? Do I like Krishan? Um, I like that Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis. How you feel about what you're saying on there? You know, uh, 
basic way to, so I don't even bother, you know, Gucci Gucci yeah. in any way. Um, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I just bounce the track, right? That's a fun track. I'll sit on lay. Do I cook? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 Bieber. 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 <laughs> oh, of course. Space guy. Oh, okay. That's my, that's my dude. That's I feel, dude. I feel about the hip-hop game right now. Because I understand that, of course, we should father again, uh, Rev One, Rev One, one of the greatest MCs of all time, you know, one of the greatest hip hop groups of all time. I do love the hip hop game right now. A lot of people uh, respect casts like Lil B and Waka Flocka, the cast that's in the game right now that's doing it big in the mainstream. And some people are like, nah, that's not the real stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, how, how do you personally feel about the state of hip hop right now? Because I know a lot of hip hop fans definitely have different uh, opinions and stuff. I mean, um. I mean, people can't really get mad if like a Walk of Flock or a Little B or somebody is popping. And like, if you like someone, uh, like an underground rapper, or so, you know, a certain type of lyricist that has, you know, more, um, you know, deeper content, you know, if that's what you feel in your eyes, yeah. you can't get mad at that. You know, just listen to what you listen to and let it be. If they're not on the radio, you know, you can't get mad at that. You know, that's not what people right. are embracing right now. But you know, there, there are a lot of people like that. Like, you know, like, I mess with Kendrick Lamar. And that's what, you know, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good friend of mine. He's definitely doing his thing, you know, like just making great music. But, you know, I embrace all types of music, man. I like music like that, um, you know, real, real, you know, hip hop stuff like that. But, you know, also I love, you know, Flocka, you know, just messing around, yeah, yeah. you know, having fun. It's with part that. of music, you know, it's like Rock Kim said, you know, MC fun. means move the crowd. It's about moving the crowd, you exactly, know. Exactly, exactly. And, um, you know, I just feel as though, you know, you can't really knock anybody's hustle or anything. I, I really embrace everybody and I like all types of music. You know, everybody is for, you know, everything. So if you didn't have a walk or you didn't have a little B with somebody that, you know, made fun music who would. You know? Right. You got any fun tracks on the new mix Oh, without a doubt. I mean copy paste is one for sure. Um, you know, I got fun tracks on the tape. Um, I got, you know, tracks that are real, you know, in depth. I got everything, man, but as a whole, everybody's gonna enjoy it. It's nothing that's too far off from what I've been doing, mm -hmm. but it's way greater. Right, so you're just developing, and it's like the swag that's in your first few tapes, but amplified on another way, level. Way, it's, it's, it's way past. Like, the people yeah. that haven't heard it, you, man. the people that haven't heard my music yet um, are gonna be shocked. And then the people that do like my music are just gonna be definitely shocked because it's way past. What's the name of the tape? I can't, oh, it's my, my album actually. Your album? Yeah, my, my first debut album, and I can't say yet. But uh, the title's definitely perfect for like where I'm at right now and how people see me. Right, as far as uh, the drop date, we got a uh, ballpark day right now going on. This is all up in the air right now. They, 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 it's definitely the 40 years over. Like, there's no yeah. choice with that. Like, they want it before the year is over. And it's almost finished, it's 90% done. So by the time I come off tour, um, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna finish it, it's gonna be done. So last question, since this is the hip-hop shop where we express to be fresh through hip-hop culture, what makes you hip-hop? Man, um, I just think hip-hop isn't a certain type of beat or, you know, certain type of lyrics. I just think hip-hop is staying true to you, you know? Like, if you're not true to yourself and you're trying to be somebody, that's not hip-hop, you know? Hip-hop is about embracing who you are on the inside and expressing it to everybody. So I feel as though that's what I'm hip-hop. Appreciate you, baby. Good. Coming out. Peace, love, and earth, y'all. Hip hop shop. Express to be fresh. Diddy Simmons. So, yeah, y'all. Know what's going on? It's Diggy, and you're rocking with Houston, the hip hop shop. Express to be fresh. From her demise. Damn. That's how we are. Take a life. Then buy.